What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are continuing our Master Ball tier push, this time using a Hisuian Arcanine and Shen Pao Metadine. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But if you guys haven't checked out my last video, we actually started off the brand new season 3-0, technically 4-0 because one of our matches disconnected, and we made it to the top 500 in the world. Currently, I'm sitting at around like 900 now because you guys know when uh, you don't play for a little bit, people will pass you. So we're still 4-0. We just dropped to about 900, but we're trying to push a little bit higher in today's video could be very very awesome for us but real boom is going to be our first pokemon for today's team preview with the grassy surge and assault vest it's got wood hammer stopping tantrum as its second move and then u-turn and fake out for flinches second slot is going to be tornadoes the best support pokemon in regulation d with prankster and a citrus berry as item rock and bleak wind storm protect icy wind for more speed control and then tailwind for its final move in our third slot, we got the one and only Fluttermane. This Pokemon is so good in Regulation D. Having a meta team without it is basically criminal. It's got Protosynthesis with the Booster Energy as item, Rock and Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, and Protect. Same thing goes for our fourth Pokemon, Urshfu. Top tier in the meta, can't go wrong with it with Unseen Fist and a Mystic Water as its item. With certain strikes, Aqua Jet, Detect, and Taunt. Really good moveset. Just wish we had close combat on it because it just comes up so clutch, especially when you're going up against Heatran. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Shen Pao, a perfect Pokemon to pair up with Urshfu and Hisuian Arcanine. It's got Swords Ruin as its ability, obviously the Focus Sash as its item with Icicle Crash Protect, Sucker Punch, and Terror Blast with that Grass Terra. In our final slot, we got Arcanine, I should say Hisuian Arcanine, with Intimidate and the Choice Band as its item. It's got E Speed, Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, and Head Smash for its moveset. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Not the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with the Sisuian Arcanine and Shen Pao meta team. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, and we are going up against a Chiyu and Fluttermeat. So they got Reggie Draco alongside with this, and they're rocking out with Urshifu and Grimmsnarl and Farigraph, who's a great Pokemon for countering and setting up Trick Room. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? Considering I think they're going to be leading Grimmsnarl, I feel as Fluttermane is just going to be a great Pokemon all around. It's going to be super effective onto a few of these guys, so I really do like it. So I'm going to go Fluttermane for the lead. I'm also going to go Tornadus. Speed Control could be lovely up against these guys. I do like the Speed Control, so I am going to go Tornadus. Shen Pao in the back end, probably with Urshfu is their best call. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with it. You really cannot go wrong with it. Unless I want to go Arcanine instead of Urshfu. No, I feel as if we get speed control with Urshfu, it's just going to be night night, especially with the screens out here. I would love to have Urshfu. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But this team right here is pretty solid. It's pretty solid. I think it heavenly relies on Grimstone setting up the screens and then just out bulking. But other than that, I feel as my team, especially with speed control, can really get cooking in these situations. They could pop trick them. If Rigorif comes out here for the lead, that could be a little bit of an issue. At that point, I wouldn't even set up a Tailwind. I would kind of just start attacking with Bleak Moon Storm and like Moon Blast and stuff. Maybe double down into the free graph. Because nothing's worse than when you set up a Tailwind and they set up a Trick Room right next turn. You're like, oh my lord, I blew it. But <laughs> we're going to try to prevent that. So they're going to end up leading Grim Snarl and Chiyu, which I, I, I love. It. I love it. So Light Screen's probably going to come out here, which I don't mind too much. Nice, lovely Light Screen come out here. That's fine. Do we set up the Tailwind? We, do we need the tail one? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we could set up the tail one. Because it's a little off for us not to. So I'm just going to go Moon Blast in this slot. Do I just Icy Wind? I could Bleak Wind Storm, but now nah, I'm just going to go tail one. I'm going to set up a nice, lovely tail one for the squad. Just make sure that we're out speeding. Turns after this. Should be good. Actually, I probably should have Bleak Wind Storm this turn, to be honest. Just to, just to get some damage. Because we do get a speed drop chance, which would be massive. And I highly doubt they're going to be able to take on my Tornadus this turn. So, I mean, I could just set up the Tailwind next turn. That's whatever. So, Tailwind's going to come out here from us. Get that speed popping for the rest of the squad. And he's going to fake... T Yo, you better calm down. That could be a Choice Scarf, uh, Chiyu. That could be a Choice Scarf. But Moon Blast is going to... Oh, my God. Of course you were buried. Can we still take out? We don't. Of course you got the berry. That's just that's just hurtful right there. The Roselli berry. Heat wave's gonna pop your dodge a Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane just dodged that. Oh, I love you, Fluttermane. You're fake tier too. We love you. We are in love with you. So from here, from here, 
I think I'm just gonna go. Do I go Dazzling Gleam, Bleak Wind Storm? Potentially, right? I mean, we got Speed Cooking. I know I'm minus two, but I'm still gonna go for Bleak Wind Storm. If the Protect comes out from Chiyu, that's totally fine. What are you doing, Grimmsnarl? What are you doing? You're just gonna Thunder Wave. So you're just gonna slow me down. Okay, so you're just gonna slow down Fluttermane. I mean, we have Icy Wind, we have Tailwind. Uh, I think our speed's gonna be pretty solid here. I think we might want to swap the uh, Fluttermane next turn. Just gotta think. They're probably going for Heat Beam, right? They're probably going for Heat Beam. So by swapping the Fluttermane and the Urshu, that could be a good call. Really depending on who they bring in the back end. Because it could be Fluttermane. It could definitely be Fluttermane. And then I'm sitting in a bad position. Because if it is Fluttermane, then I can't swap into uh, Urshu because Fluttermane's on the field. And then I can't swap into Chen Pao either because Chiyu's on the field. It's probably going to be Fluttermane. Yeah, it's Fluttermane all day. Oh, okay. I see you. I understand. I understand. So, Pro Synthesis Boost is going to come out here. Um, speed's going to get popping. I think from here, we're just going to protect you. And we're just going to Bleak Wind Storm. Or do I just start slowing him down? I think a guaranteed slowdown is pretty good. I think we just start Icy Winding. Icy Winding. It's a lovely low sight. It's a lovely low sight. So, we're just going to protect our Flutter Mane. It's minus two on special defense. So, it's it's dying pretty much to one of these shots here. Especially with Chi on the field. But I'm really happy they didn't set up screens. Super stoked that didn't happen. Super, super stoked. So Protect comes out here. I'm gonna go for an Icy Wind. I'm gonna drop some speed. Speed is dropped. I'm slowing them down a little bit. These guys are rather fast right now. And an Icy Wind's coming out from Fluttermane. How dare you, Fluttermane? Fluttermane's rocking Icy Wind, which is huge. And then she's gonna Heat Wave, take out my Tornadus. Okay, I understand. I understand. And of course I have to Grass Terra on. That really hurts that I have to Grass Terra on Shen Pao. In all honesty, it, it really sucks. In all honesty, it's so bad. But from here, I'm gonna go Urshifu. And I'm thinking of just hard swapping into... I think I'm just hard swapping into Shen Pao, getting rid of my stat changes, and then trying to get rid of. I go after Chiyu here. I think Chiyu's gonna thrash us, or, or maybe just mm, protects and doesn't really do much. I think we just try to get rid of Chiyu. I doubt it's Grass Terra, but still, actually, let's thrashize you and just go after Chiyu. I want Chiyu gone. Actually, one, I want both of these, both these Pokemon gone. So I swapped to the Shen Pao. We're looking to get rid of Chiyu here. Chiyu's potentially Terrasalizing, but I'm going to Terrasalize. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, baby. So I get the big time Terra. And we'll see what our opponent wants to do. This is a really close battle. I mean, Fluttermane's in the back end, but it's paralyzed, which kind of sucks. And he's going to end up Terrasalizing. Show me Fluttermane. No way, it's fun. I mean, it's it's cheating all day. What type you got? Ghost? Please be ghost. Bro, of course it's grass. I have all the types. I should have I should have stuck with my gut and just went after the fun. I mean, would have been massive. Would have been absurdly massive. The certain strikes gonna get cooking here. How much damage are we doing? Oh, we might KO. Go ahead. Go ahead, Urshifu. My dog. My dog. In this instance, my bear. Cause he's a bear that is huge that's massive massive ko that's the only downside to uh to chiyu it's just so weak defensively the icy one's gonna get cooking urshifu's gonna die to turn low because i'm just going for a first turn i might double down on what i mean this turn you might be choice in the icy one you just been sending them you just been sending them but I'm looking maybe to just double down first turn priority here. Do I do that? Potent maybe. Maybe. Tailman's gone and Reggie Drake's coming out here, which is oh, that's it's a little scary. Be a little scary. We do have Fluttermane in the back end, which is massive. So I think if we just go into like a double down here with first turn priority moves, I think we can get rid of Fluttermane and we can really get cooking from there. Because I'm gonna say there's no way this Fluttermane protects, especially with Icy Wind. I feel as it's not even rocket protect, right? I feel like it has a Moonblast, Icy Wind, 
Shadow Ball and Dazzling Gleam. That's just like from my experience, I use like maybe one or two with Icy Windy 4. They never had protect. So doubling down with the Sucker Punch and the first and priority move should be big. And he protects the Draco. And he protects Draco. Massive. Massive. Massive start for us. We love it. We love it. Not start well. Plays here. And oh, Aqua Jet's just KOing by itself. Yo, Urshifu, chill. Chill. <laughs> Yo, Urshifu. KOing by itself. Massive. That's massive. That's going to pretty much wrap up this game. I'm going to go for a nice little sucker punch because I am minus one on speed. And on top of that, I am just going to go for a surge and strikes. Let's see if our opponent cancels. We still have Flutter in the back end, and the battle is canceled. We start things off 1 0, which is very, very good for us. Second match is on its way, and we're starting off 1 0 in today's video, which is really, really big. We're going up against H, Red Gnaw, and Pelipper team with Indeedee, Rillaboom, Sableye, and Sizzle. So, chances are they're bringing the Weather Squad, right? Weather Squad is just going to be so big, I have no weather to kind of counter that. But I do have Tailwind to kind of get some speed going for us, so I absolutely want to bring that. So, I'm going to go Tornadus here. Um, I am going to go. Do I go Rillaboom for a lead? I feel this like Rillaboom is going to be nice, especially for Flinches, turn one. Um, they could bring Indeedy, but I don't really, like, I don't see that too much, right? I don't really see that. But Tornadus is going to be great for us. Urshifu, Shen Pao, Arcanine could all be really good for us. I mean, maybe not Arcanine, just due to that weather coming in here and water Pokemon. So I might just want to bring Rillaboom as back end, which would, would be pretty good. So you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to go Urshifu for the lead, especially if they're going to set rain. I would love it all day. And then we'll go Rillaboom and Shen Pao. Cool. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. They could potentially bring in DD just because of our first turn priority, but you never know. You never know. You never, never know. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, boom. So let's see. Let's see. I think, I think just, just it's simple rain. I would be popping rain here, right? Rain Pelper with a uh, Swim Dreadnought. It seems. Oh no, in DD Dreadnought. DD Dreadnought. So they want to swap with the weather. So honestly, I think just a. Uh, no, honestly, I just think a Tailwind Terrastalize and a Surgeon Strikes is going to play. And he's going to get the special defense boost, but that's not that easy. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just gonna some speed. I'll just go Surgeon Strikes. The Dreadnought. Oh, uh, did I Terrastalize? I hope I Terrastalize. I did. Cool. I was going to say, I kind of clicked the moves fast and I wanted to Terrastalize. Just so I get off some big time damage, because if Follow Me comes out here, then I still want to, I will still be able to KO, but if they swap into Pelper, which is likely to be the the range is going to give us boost and we should just be able to get rid of Dreadnought. And they end up not swapping, they're going to Tarras, that's Grass, aren't you? You're Grass, oh man. Leakman Storm next turn, you're Grass, why is everybody Grass today? Why is everybody Grass today? <laughs> it's like, come on man. Everybody's Grass today, and you better not have Terrorblast, I'd be so upset. So they end up not swapping. No follow me comes out here. I'm going I'm just looking to rip some certain strikes. You're definitely bulkier than she used, so. We'll see how this one plays out here. So we're chipping up like five damage a shot. Luckily you're not rocky helmet, because that's so annoying when you when you use certain strikes up against somebody in a rocky helmet. So let's see what Jarendal's doing and what Indeedee's doing. Indeedee might just be popping a psychic. Rock slide. We're going to eat, which is big. And you're probably just going for a Psychic, right, Indeedee? I got Citrus Berry, which, which I adore. I really adore. And Trick Room. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Ouch. Ouch! I don't, I, I don't know what to do. Um... I could have taunted him. I could have. Ooh. Huh. We swapped one on here. Protect them. Ouch, man, dude, that trick room did me dirty. Good call from our opponent. Really flustering me. I don't know what to do. That's a bad position. You know you're in a bad position when you're just looking at your team like, dang. I do not know what to do. But this team definitely struggles up against trick room. It really does. 
So I'm gonna go for an Aqua Jet. I wanna get off some damage. And that's, that's, that's a good chunk. Oh, we get a crit. The Psychic's gonna fly again. Can we dodge this Rock Slide? Can we dodge this Rock Slizzle? We do not. We probably die again. Oh, we live. We get a free Sash. Beautiful. Lovely. Cool. Beautiful. Awesome. So potentially, I could see a hard swap onto Treadnaw. Or indeed, indeed, probably. Um, I think from here, we just... He's probably going to protect, right? I think we just go for a U-turn to KO you. I'm just gonna start wasting out these turns. I don't wanna go for a fake out. I wanna just try to KO. So there's a swap. I might have to swap Rolling next turn. Is Pelper coming out here? No, their own Rolling comes out here. Rather scary. That's not bad, because we get to swap our Rolling too. And we're gonna KO the Dreadnought. Unless you flinch, Rillaboom, do not flinch. Rillaboom, I swear. Thank you. Thank you. Huh. How are we doing? How are we gonna play this one? Because we still have Rillaboom in the back. Massive. We still have Tornado. We still have actually everybody. We still have everybody. Do I just, who do I go into here? We're not just potentially just protecting. Man. Send power to protecting bad. Uh la la la. We're going to two nice. Two nice. We're not gonna go in the real room. So they could fake me out all day. Um I wonder who they're going into here. I'm really curious. This is such a good match. Backs up against the wall. Pelipper comes out here. So the Ploops finally comes out here, which means my Bleak Wind Storm should land 100% of the time. Same thing with the Hurricane, which is terrible. But how many turns are left in Trick Room? Two, right? Two. That's ugly. That's so ugly. That's something we do not like. I gotta protect you, and if I can get off an Aqua Jet, I'd rather just hit an Aqua Jet here. But Urshfu's dead. There's no point in going for Detect. So, protecting the Tornadus. Um, hmm. I gotta save my Rillaboom. I have to save my Rillaboom. And they don't, they don't end up faking. Well, I don't understand that. They don't go for the fake out, which is weird. That's really weird. You would think they would go for the fake out. Just so my, my Urshfu wouldn't be able to do anything. But they end up taking out Urshfu. Um, we get to actually see who they go into first, which is big time. It's actually massive. And, it's, and it has to be Indeedee, so they're forced to go into Indeedee here. So now would be a good time to bring out Rillaboom, right? Or do I save Rillaboom? I think I actually just go into Rillaboom here. Let me take out the Pelipper. Because chances are he's going to swap. Yeah, no, I actually really like that. We're going to go into Rillaboom, because chances are he's going to swap Indeedee, correct? Makes sense. It makes the most sense. So if they swap Indeedee and we fake out Pelipper, then we get off a free Deacon Storm. And we can have Shen Pao in the back end. Cause that's gonna be that's gonna be like a, a main focus for us is to is to keep this terrain control. Cause late game sucker punch is gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. We're just terrain control in general. I mean, we're kind of just trying to waste out these uh, tailwind turns. Or not tailwind. We're trying to waste out these uh, these trick room turns. So we end up not swapping, which cool with. You just gonna go for a second. Can you eat us up? You're not in terrain. You don't. You get a crit. Come on now. Come on. Now <laughs> that's so annoying. Big time crit comes out from him. Pelper gets flinched. We are gonna be able to. Oh my lord! My heart, my soul, my heart, my soul. That is that is ugly. That's just so ugly. It's really, really annoying. That is so annoying. Come on, yo, Bleak Wind Storm would have been massive there. It would have been so big. So I get to bring out Shen Pao. Shen Pao is coming out here. Uh, I still crash. We take out. We go after Pelper. It feels we go after the Pelipper and then we just we just U-turn this slot. Yeah, I'm cool with that. You might swap the Didi. You just go for follow me, okay? I understand. I feel you. That really sucks because Pelipper's not gonna get off a turn. That super crash is not gonna one tap, is it? 
that's not oh the hurricane is gonna count on me yeah it's tough news see like i said yo that one bleak wind storm could have really turned the tides we probably would have won if that if i didn't get credit there because i think i really do think my twin is gonna be able to because if you think about it indeed he dies to that ice of crash at bleak wind storm lands and in that case Rule boom then comes out there we double protect at that point i have three options to just ice of crash and i probably would have ice of crash down the pelipper finishing that off and then it would have been a 2v1 but yo that is just ugly that is so ugly but we're just gonna go for ice of crash here should be able to take out pelipper which is pretty big for us it does okay i don't know why they need to go follow me there i think follow me was definitely play are you trying to pop another trick room is that your play no you got green okay yeah, that's that's tough news. It is tough. Hmm. Anyway, I can win this. Anyway, because I gotta protect this turn. Block the fake out. Maybe hope he misses an attack. Oh man, crits doing me dirty. If I protect, stop the fake out. I'm thinking of just sucker punching Indeed here. But if it goes for following me, I think we just have to go for Ice Crash here, right? Because we're not surviving another Dazzling Green. It just already proved. Oh, you pop a trick in it. So, yeah, we have to go for Sucker Punch. Yeah, we, no, we lose this one all day now. Trick room just hits me hard, man. Really, really does me dirty. So, I mean, I'll still go for a nice little Sucker Punch. Try to KO this thing. I, I would think it's going for Dazzling Green. And he does, so we get rid of him. I think he's just going for like a wood hammer here just to. Just to finish it off, but man, dude, that was such a good battle. We're gonna be one and one for today. Yep, there's the wood hammer. Well, well, bang. See you later, Shenbao. One and one for today's video. Let's go hop to that third and final. Let's go grab you guys a winning record. Final match is on its way, and we're sitting one and one. Would love to grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. Going up against an Earth Luna and Cresselia team with Iron Hands, so three of them in the Trick Room, and then three of them outside the Trick Room with Earth Food Dragonite. And last but not least, Fluttermane. How am I playing this one? Shen Pao, I wish you had Crunch on you. Cresselia is going to be a little bit of a problem. It's going to be tough to KO. I mean, I do have Shadow Ball with Fluttermane, so I might just leave Fluttermane. Fluttermane just seems pretty solid here, especially up against a lot of them. So I am going to end up leading Fluttermane. Really do like that. I could go Tornadus with that. It's not terrible. Or I could go Rillaboom. But I like Tornadus. Do I like Tornadus? Eh. Maybe. Not really. We're going to go Rillaboom here. I like Rillaboom. So I'm going to go Rillaboom. I am going to go Fluttermane here. I like that lead. I'm going to bring Shen Pao. Do I go Arcanine? Do we have some foam with this one to bring Arcanine? Or do I just go in with Urshfu? Like, Urshfu's him, but Arcanine's fun. Fun or him? I'm all about fun on the channel. We're going Arcanine. We're going Arcanine. Obviously, Urshfu is the better call, but uh, Arcanine's just like, I want to use him today. Especially with the Choice Bear. Maybe we'll come up clutch. I mean, Rock Moves are going to be super effective on the Dragonite. We got the E Speed, which is massive. Choice Band, too. Choice Band can do some big time damage. So, we'll see how this one plays out here. Like I said, we're one and one. We probably probably should have won that last match, right? I don't think we died to a crit I, or, or without the crit because they didn't have terrain boost. I know they had stab, but still, we were almost half HP. I think my boy was sucking. Not sucking. <laughs> I think my boy was soaking that up. So, uh, <laughs> it kind of sucks that they got a crit. So, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see how this one plays out here. But yeah, Arcanine could be solid. Arcanine could for sure be solid. But I wonder who they're going to lead. I mean, they have a lot of different options. They can go in the trick room. They can just go non-trick room. And they can really just start going with, like, Urshfu Dragonite or something like that. They end up going Fluttermane Dragonite. Okay. So I end up going into Rillaboom and Fluttermane. So my Fluttermane is going to get a speed booster energy. That's pretty big. Do I Terra here? Potentially, right? Maybe. They're going to actually boost that booster energy themselves too with speed. So we're up to no good. We're both doing the same thing. I think we just... We just gleam here. I might double down and flood me. Terra Fairy, gleam across the board. And instead of faking out Dragonite, I think we just would hammer to flood me. We just would hammer to flood me. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Sometimes I feel this fake out is like not important because so many people, it's just so easy, to especially with a lot of ghost types. It's just like, obviously, I can go for a fake out at the Dragonite slot. Dragonite might even protect here. Let's see. It could be Bandit, too. It seems like it is going to be Bandit. Unless that's Fluttermane to Rasslice, which I wouldn't be surprised to Fluttermane. You probably have great minds. Nope, it's going to be Dragonite into normal. Into Floyne. A little bit of Floyne. Oh, you're dead. Rillaboom's dead. He's gone. Sorry, Rillaboom. 
You're gone. I was not expecting this tower right here. Oh, and I see one's getting cooking. Sorry, sorry, Robin. You're you were dead. You were so dead. Oh, wow, we could just shadow ball that flutter man. Yep, should have faked out Dragon Age. Should have played simple. Oh, you're gonna. Okay, you're going after you. Can you eat this? You don't, man. Man. Really hurts. Actually, Woodhammer has potential to KO here. It really does. What kind of can do some damage? Let's see what you got. I'll take that trade. I'll take that trade all day. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I'll take that trade all day. I will simply take that trade all day. Match was canceled? I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. Let's go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one for today's video. Pretty much two and one because our opponent disconnected, but I can't. I cannot completely say that we were going to win that match considering it was actually going to be very very close i KO'd their flutter main they KO'd my flutter main but i was going to send out shen pao right after that and just get ripping into that dragon knight because chances are it was probably choice banned so we were going to outspeed it we we're going to be able to hit it with an icicle crash and probably just one tap it from there but that match would have been definitely very very close so i'm just saying it's a nice little one and one for today's video but guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.